Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. <laughs> well, my friends, I am here to motivate you. I am here to tell you to get up, get moving, and get out of the slum you're in. It's hard, but every day I have to force myself to get up, get moving. The best advice I can give is get up no matter how much you don't want to and take that shower and then your day starts from there then you get in there and you say your blessings and say thank you say your blessings say thank you and what you're grateful for and you at the end you say thank you for another beautiful day even though you feel like crap by this time you're going to be energized i'm, I'm telling you you're going to be energized <laughs> Uh, I'm going to show you this book here, Daily Teachings, The Secret. I've had this for how many years? And all year long, I read this every day. Well, I might miss one or two days of the year, you know, which isn't bad. But every day, I get up and I start my day with my prayers and being thankful. And then I start with my reading of this book. I only read one or two pages. It's got 365 pages, so if you want, you can read one page a day. This, my friends, will get you motivated to realize, to change your mind into being down in the dumps and moving forward with a bright look in the future, and it'll just make you feel good. <laughs> so this is my routine, and... Uh, I just wanted to show you this because I've just finished it yesterday and I'm starting again. I think this is my third year reading this every morning. My third year. Yeah. It's it's basically my everything. <laughs> Without it, I don't I wouldn't wouldn't be able to set my mind to go the right way. Yes. So, I wanted to show you my bookmarker. Look at that little guy. <laughs> What year is that? 2000, 2007. So he was uh, 2002, 3, 4, 5, 6. He was in kindergarten there. See his Spider Man shirt? He was flying around that school. <laughs> this also is my motivation. This little guy, I don't know what I'd do without him. Big guy now. <laughs> So, I'm, I'm not going to read you this every day, but I will read you a page today, in, and I'm going to suggest order it online, have it beside your bed, and every day that you say your prayers and your gratefulness, you read a page. You just have to read one page. You don't have to do it right in the morning. You could do it at night. You could do it in the middle of the day. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, look for the gifts in everything, especially when you are facing what appears to be a negative situation. Ontario, in Ontario, in Canada, we're in a stay-at-home order, okay? It's hard for us, but we got to bring ourselves out of it and fix our minds, because if we don't, we're going to go into a deep depression. Okay. So look for the gifts in everything, especially when you are facing what appears to be a negative situation. Everything that we attract causes us to grow, which means that ultimately everything is for our own good. Adjusting to a new path and a new direction will require new qualities and strengths. And these qualities are always exactly what we need to acquire in order to accomplish the great things ahead in our life. Okay, so if you're going to get up and be negative, your whole day is going to be negative. But if you get up and you be positive, it's going to be a positive day. Okay, it certainly is. No matter how, no matter where you are, no matter how difficult things might appear to be, you are always being moved forward. Magnificent always. Happiness depends upon ourselves. 
Happiness depends upon ourselves, not how the world is running, okay? Not how this world is running right now. It depends on you. So let's get moving. <laughs> on that note, I'm going to make McDonald's oatmeal in my Instapot. Yes, I am. So come follow me along today and bring a little joy into your life, you guys. Now remember, it's okay. And you're going to be okay. It's changing your thinking thoughts. Let's get started on our oatmeal, you guys. Okay, you guys, for this recipe, of course, you're going to need an Instapot. Then you're going to need one cup of oatmeal, three cups of water, a pinch of salt, three tablespoons of butter, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one apple. Okay, so we're going to set our Instapot on... Uh, sorry, I have to take my glasses off to find the button. Saute. <laughs> okay, we're going to throw our butter in. That's three tablespoons of butter. Okay, we're just going to melt this up a bit. Then we're going to throw our apple in. Okay, now you're going to add two and a half cups of water or three. I'm going three because I like my oatmeal watery. <laughs> but you can use two and a half cups if you like it. Like chunky. Okay, then we're going to add one cup of oatmeal. And then a pinch of salt. Do another little bit. There we go. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One tablespoon of maple syrup or you can do honey. Whatever you have on hand. I'm just guessing here. Well... Yeah, better measure, Michelle. Oh, it's so hard to get it out of the bottle. I just keep my maple syrup from Costco in a squirt bottle. So if you want to squirt it on top of your oatmeal, you can. It's always in the fridge ready to go. Oh. <sighs> not coming out very good <laughs> okay there we go get that in there okay okay now you're going to add two and a half cups of water or three I'm going three because I like my oatmeal watery <laughs> But you can use two and a half cups if you like it, like chunky. Okay, then we're going to add one cup of oatmeal. And then a pinch of salt. I'll do another little bit. There we go. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One tablespoon of maple syrup. Or you can do honey, whatever you have on hand. I'm just guessing here. Well, yeah. Better measure, Michelle. Oh, it's so hard to get it out of the bottle. I just keep my maple syrup from Costco in a squirt bottle. If you want to squirt it on top of your oatmeal, you can. It's always in the fridge ready to go. Oh, it's not coming out very good. <laughs> okay, there we go. Get that in there. Okay. Okay, now here you can add three tablespoons of craisins or dried blueberries, any kind of dried fruit. I don't have that, so I'm not adding that. So we're going to put the lid on. I should 
be good at this by now. But I'm not. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Press pressure cook for two minutes. Okay. Okay, cancel. Pressure cook for two minutes and then a quick release one as soon as it's done. And we'll have some oatmeal. Okay, I just wanted to say if if you are like me and you're not really a fan of oatmeal, give that a try. I that is tolerable for me to eat. So make sure you put the maple syrup on top after you fill your bowl up. <laughs> I'm gonna I also wanna say at the beginning. Just put the saute on for two minutes, Let's, just to melt your butter. You don't want to go any longer than that. Once your butter's melt, shut it completely off and dump in, start dumping in your apples and everything else. Otherwise, if you keep going with the, the saute, you're going to get a burn mark. So that you don't want a burn mark. Even if you do get a burn mark, you can still eat the oatmeal. I'm like, what is that noise? What is that noise? What is it? What, what's in that box? What is in that box? I don't know you guys. There's something in that box. What is it? <gasps> Peekaboo! <laughs> okay, I guess he's resting. I guess. Are you resting? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's living the life. Living the life of Riley. <laughs> okay, I guess he's resting. I guess. Are you resting? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's living the life. Living the life of Riley. <laughs> okay, so I got two lettuce. A green, uh, red onion will go with that. I got one carrot I can cut into sticks. The onion we need for dinner tonight. And we're going to make some ranch dressing. Let's start with the ranch dressing, you guys. I tell you guys, I can't thank you guys enough for telling me to put uh, like, uh, well, I use whipped dressing, like you can use Miracle Whip, but, and then a cup of sour cream. I'm telling you, it's got to be the best tasting dressing ever. I do put a little milk. I leave a little sour cream. Um, I don't put a whole full cup, but I do put a little tiny bit of milk just to make it a little thinner because it is really thick, but I'm telling you. To dip your veggies in this. Oh, it's the best. I say it's better than restaurant ranch. Yeah. You know I'm always looking for a restaurant ranch taste, eh? Well, now I found it. And it's all thanks to you guys. Yes. So I'm going to go whip this up with my little beater and I'll be back. Zen's hanging out with me today. Isn't he cute? <laughs> He's sitting on the hats. That's okay. You're sitting on all the hats, Peanut. Yeah. I'm not scratching your head. I got work here to do. Okay, so I got that one carrot cut up. And I'll put that in Bruce's lunch tomorrow. <laughs> and then I got my... I need an onion and garlic for my recipe tonight for my pork chops. And then I'm going to be having... This squash, acorn squash, with my pork chops. So I'm going to get that in the oven because this takes forever. There's some scraps for the girls. And then there's my salad. We're going to let this soak with ice. Then we're going to rin rinse it and spin it out. And we'll package up our salads in the uh, containers. So let's get this in the oven. Then we're going to have a break. And then we'll get back to the salad. Okay, so I'm going to have some Fritos and, of course, read my book. Uh, but I thought, I'm thinking I might be able to get those pork chops, two meals out of them. Mm. 
I mean, a little squash I can get two meals out of, but I don't know. I have to look at the pork chops. Maybe I can get two meals like today and tomorrow out of them. By doing that, make your food go a little farther. Here's Ann wants one. It's funny as, as I am um, watching a few videos. We don't get these in Canada, right? You guys must not have got dill pickle chips in Canada by Lay's. You see some YouTubers going crazy over them. That's a normal thing here, dill pickle chips. <laughs> Probably in some places in in the states, I bet you can get them. It's funny how they sell certain things here, but not over there, and they sell certain, lots of things over there that they don't sell here. It's funny that way. Mhm. Mm I actually called them and asked them. Can you please sell these? <laughs> no. They wouldn't. So I plan on coming up with a few things for Valentine's treats that I want to share. Mm-hmm. So that'll be starting this week. I'll make a few, a couple different things and share them with you guys. So when Valentine's comes, you can share it with your family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you eat your Frito already? You want another one? There you go. So. have a little break then we'll go make up our salad bowls okay so I have the salad uh, rinsed drained and spun now I just do lettuce and green and red onion the rest of it if I want to add uh, cheese uh, French onions all that I could add bacon I could add when I'm going to have it you don't want to put all that in there no so let's see how many salads we get out of this. Okay, we got five. Now I'm going to do five salad dressings to put on the side, inside of them. Let me go do that. And would you look at that? <laughs> Isn't that fancy, you guys? Hey, eh? <laughs> I'm going to put them in the fridge and they're ready to go. Now I just have to grab a, a salad for lunch and I can throw bacon or cheese or whatever I want on them and they're they're so much easier to eat this way. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go find room in the fridge. Then we're going to start our Instapot dinner, you guys. Okay, you guys. So what we're going to do, you, you, you could have four pork chops. I, I found another pack in there, but I only took out two. So that's all right. Um, I thought I'd get two meals out of this, but I don't think I will. <laughs> that was Papa Bear. So what you're going to do is take the ranch package and we're going to sprinkle this on both sides. Now this package is probably enough for four pork chops. But I'm probably going to use it all on just the two. Flip them over. Oh, maybe not. I might have to save a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to save. It's probably a couple, maybe a tablespoon and a half a tablespoon left in there. I'll save that. And put it with some sour cream and have chipped it. Okay. Those are really well seasoned with the ranch dip. 
with the ranch powder, I mean. Okay, you guys, so what we're going to do, you, you, you could have four pork chops. I, I found another pack in there, but I only took out two. So, that's all right. Um, I thought I'd get two meals out of this, but I don't think I will. <laughs> that was Papa Bear. So what you're going to do is take the ranch package and we're going to sprinkle this on both sides. Now this package is probably enough for four pork chops. But I'm probably going to use it all on just the two. Flip them over. Oh, maybe not. I might have to save a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to save. It's probably a couple, maybe a tablespoon and a half a tablespoon left in there. I'll save that. And put it with some sour cream and have chipped it. Okay. Those are really well seasoned with the ranch dip. With the ranch powder, I mean. Okay. Our oil should be heating up any second now. So we're going to get these pork chops in there. Like if you have four, you can take do two at a time. Saute two at a time. Okay, I'm going to put pepper on. Let me get the spice. I hate the way spice. <laughs> pepper on both sides so while this side is up I'll put the pepper on so we're gonna go about two minutes just until they start to brown a little bit when I flip them I'll do the other side okay so I'm gonna go um, saute these on both sides then I gotta change your battery so I'll be back okay so now we're gonna add our onions okay when they're almost done we're gonna add the garlic and just bring that around for a minute. Uh, just move it around for a minute and then shut off the saute button. Okay, we're now going to add our pork chops back in. Like, first of all, make sure, like I said, all those bits are scraped off the bottom of your pan for sure. We don't want to get a burn mark. I'm good at doing that. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. Let's put these pork chops back in. Now it's better if you have four. But well, wait, we're going to add more chicken broth. About half a cup. Uh, that's good. Yeah, I, I had a whole cup. And I put quarter cup in with the onions to saute with. And then I put the rest in. Now I put the rest in. Make sure those pork chops are in there. Get all that yumminess. Since I made my own broth, I got a little bit of um, boudin at the bottom of my measuring cup. I'm just going to add that in too. Okay. We're going to pressure cook for seven minutes. Oh, does anybody else struggle with these lids? <laughs> okay. There we go. Make sure your vent is closed at the top here. Pressure cook. Seven. There we go. Leave it be. That's it. It'll do all the cooking for us. We'll be back. Okay, you guys. This is my dinner tonight. Look at that pork chop. We're going to taste it. <laughs> and I got some 
coleslaw. Eat the rest of that coleslaw. Okay, I'm, I gotta try this pork chop. It looks so good. My mouth's watering. Oh, it's tender. Very tender. Okay. Try a piece of pork chop. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. That is delicious, you guys. Delicious. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, that's tasty. Mm. That's not dry at all. Mm-mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. I forgot my pop. I always forget something. Okay. Absolutely delicious, you guys. I got my pop. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, I wanted to dip my taters or whatever you call these things in some dip. Well, I want to thank you guys for all the wonderful comments. You've blown me away today <laughs> with your beautiful, supportive comments. Hmm. These are from the roasted chicken place. Mm -hmm. Nate didn't know if he'd like them or not. He loves a baked potato and French fries. He's iffy on a lot of them, but he loves the onion rings. Mm. <sighs> Did I dribble? <laughs> After this, I'm going to get my laundry folded. I got all this laundry washed and none of it folded. <laughs> Oh, that squash is delicious, you guys. Well, I think that I like the potato and the gravy. Mmm. Now, I know a few of you are, are, are still a little scared to use your Instapot, but don't be, don't be scared of it. I don't think these new ones would ever blow up. I thought it was light flashing in the door, but it's just the Valentine heart sparkling. <laughs> Yeah, don't give up. Give it a try. I find it takes a lot of practice. And I'm a good cook. And I find it's taken me a long time to get the hang of it. <laughs> yes. So tomorrow, I'm going to the P.O. Box. Um, one of you guys sent me something. Oh, and I'm so excited to go pick it up. She bought me something from 
my favorite place over, over in the state. Crack and Barrel. Mm hmm. It's arrived at the post office, so I can't wait. <laughs> mm hmm. I've been to Crack and Barrel quite a few times. It's one of my favorite places. The stores in there. Mm. The store inside the restaurant, I mean. If I was to go into there today, I'd be in trouble. Back when I went a few times, we didn't have a lot of money, so I had to watch what I spent. But if I was to go in there one now, ooh. I would do some damage. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know why we don't have anything like that in Canada. Like, come on, Crack and Barrel, come to Canada. Mm hmm. If I ever get rich, really rich. I'm going to buy a crack and barrel and open one in Canada. <laughs> uh huh. Like I've said, I've been many times to crack and barrel. Yes. Has anybody been to the Pioneer Woman's restaurant? I wonder if it's doing okay with this. With this mess right now. This, what's going on? I wonder if she's open. <clears throat> we had a restaurant that's closing in town. They can't make it. They're closing down. But they're going to, uh, if you got any gift certificates or anything like that, they're going to honor them or give you your money back. So I better go and eat here because, you know, Barky over here. <laughs> okay, guys, we have got the kitchen cleaned up. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't mind this candle too much. Winter candy apple. It's not bad at all. But that a peppermint one. I don't know why it got to me. It sure did. So, yeah. We got this mess cleaned up. And we're going to sit down. And I'm going to tell you what we're going to do, you guys. Come on with me. I took that shut off. <laughs> okay. I don't know why my camera shut off. Hmm. Those are good. It tastes like those oranges. You know those chocolate oranges that you crack? It tastes like those. I'm wondering if I was filming earlier. <laughs> I thought I was. Anyways, if I wasn't filming, I'm trying these orange things from Australia. Mm. Those are good. Oh, yum. So I'm going to order some hand soap from... Bath and Bath. I always say that wrong. Bath and Body. Mm hmm. Because I don't know about your family, but if my family smells a good. Do I have something on my shirt? 
If my family smells a good soap, they're liable to wash longer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If I get a nice smelling soap, they like it. They'll wash their hands longer. <laughs> Bruce, when he comes home, his clothes goes in the washer. He goes right in the shower. Every night he gets home. These are really interesting. Really good. Mm -hmm. So, let me go order this. What I'm going to order. And I'll come back to say goodnight. Oh, before I go. Two successful meals in the Instapot. And those were, those are two of the things I'm not a real big fan of. I could live without, but I am determined to eat more oatmeal like that in the Instapot. <laughs> Pork chops, I'm not really a big fan of them, but those were delicious. It was delicious. I, I only ate half and then I washed it off. Gave Coco and Sandy a few pieces. But, uh, yeah. That was good. <laughs> so I ate two things today. That I'm not a real big fan of. And. I used my Instapot. Mm -hmm. Just to let you know. Those are pretty good recipes. If you want to give them a try. Okay guys. So I got my bath and body order in. Us Canadians get ripped off, eh? We gotta pay shipping in that. Uh, we always get ripped off. <laughs> Anyways, I want to thank you guys for the beautiful comments on my last vlog. They're so beautiful. Wonderful. You guys are the best. <laughs> and thank you for understanding. Uh, so, tomorrow, if you want to come and join me, we're going to go to town. I got three things I got to get out of my P.O. box now. So that'll be good. I'm glad I waited one more day. <laughs> so we're going to go pick that up. I got to get some corn in peace for the ducks and chickens. And I'll probably go get it at Sobeys. Don't tell Bruce. He told me I'm not allowed to shop there anymore. But I don't listen to him. <laughs> You know else why I like to go there too? It's not crowded. <laughs> I guess people don't are smart and don't shop there, but I don't want to be around a lot of people right now. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, my friends. Thank you. Good night, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.